the heart meal there. Big old five by four, just what we want. First bowl, baby. First bowl. That's our first one together. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it comes. <laughs> Dude. Oh my. You're a freaking giant. Heck yeah. I'll take that for a last day back. Just get to work. Stop talking. <laughs> Supposedly this is a migratory unit and we just had a late storm that hit. I mean, it was 70 degrees last week. And we just had a late storm that hit and I believe that two thirds of the deer maybe pushed off. So I was just looking for a mature buck. I, I did see a two by three that was really tall, spindly, fairly, fairly wide. Um, definitely a bad genetic. And I think midday on, if I see him, I, I think I'll probably try and kill him. Deer's spotted a long ways, long ways away. It's hard to tell what they are. There is definitely a buck in there. Can't tell quite what he is. I mean, there's times I can see antler and looks okay, and there's times like I'm like, oh, he can't be that big. It's that framey buck from yesterday. Uh, it's like a two by three or something. We're gonna make a middle note where he's at, because I think if it comes down to the last buck and the last day, that'll be one I kill, but I've only had one day on the unit. I kind of like to look around for a second. All right, here we go. This is about to get western. Tell me your white truck could have done that. <laughs> Tell me your white truck could have done that right now. This would have popped it into four wheel drive and cruised up that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that. No, we, we don't know because she's not here. I can't believe you. I can't believe you just continued to protect her like that. <laughs> well, it's a four point. It's not super big four point. It's the last day of the hunt, last day of the season. Hard to know what to do. I think they'll still be there if we want to go look around. Cool four point anyway. He's over there rutting and having a good old time. Well, we found that. I think it's the two by three that's the big. He's not wide, but he's super tall. He's not very heavy. I'm pretty sure that's him down there. Just a big forky there. He's got a cool blade. I don't know. It's hard to say. This one's right in here. So we just passed on that one two by three, <clears throat> big tall two by three, and you know, maybe he was a good buck to take out of the herd, but there's another one over there that might take, but we're trying to just look at some of this country. It's prime wintering ground. There's a lot of sarvis berry and bitter brush, a lot of sage. I mean, all primo stuff that they'd want to winter in, and I'm surprised that they're not right here. Rumor is they can migrate out if they get a little bit of a storm, but. I think we'd see some stragglers. Not the case yet. There's some, some still up top. They're still filtering through, but I don't know. Cool country, different. There must be a genetic in here. We're trying to get on this buck. He's all ready. It is so cold out there. It's 19 degrees. He's ready, so he, she decided to take off and run away from him and he's followed her. So we're in some big open country that drive a truck on some two tracks so we're gonna try to get in and cut him off oh my gosh it's cold
So they went up? Yeah. He was chasing her up. Like, on the other side, probably in the bottom. Yeah. So I'm thinking this storm that's blowing in is gnarly. The wind was blowing so hard and the snowflakes were hitting us in the face, it was hard to keep tabs on this buck. Being able to see him bed down and keeping my eyes on him was the only thing that was running through my mind. I didn't want to lose track of this buck. It was the last day I wanted to tag out and running through my ballistics and what I was dealing with as far as wind and weather, I knew that I could anchor this shot. Up, he's up. Yep. Yep. Eight eighty. Here we go. Huh? He's pushing the dough. Huh? He's pushed that bow. <sighs> okay, he's just above the ridge. Got him? Got him? Yeah. Ready? Yep. That hit him. He went out of view. He went down below, but it definitely hit him. <laughs> that was crazy. I think that was a three by four. I think it was too. 787 yards. I went two mils to the left. Oh, really? Uh huh. This is cool. He's broke. Okay, he's just above the ridge. He flips around and turns and goes the other way. Yeah. I put it right on his butt because I knew there was wind, about a 10 mile an hour wind. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> the shoulder <laughs> dude perfect <laughs> shot. That was cool. That was cool. <laughs> old Norma. You get the 7 to 35 by 56 on her. Loophole Mark 5. Gosh, this scope's awesome. Yeah, so we had a 10, 15 mile an hour wind pushing snow. I put the center of the crosshair right on his butt. And uh, walked him. Perfect, perfect. Probably heart shot, shoulder shot somewhere right there. I believe it was a phenomenal shot. It looked like maybe it could have been low shoulder. So I'm just making sure that it wasn't. I'm gonna have Norma ready to go here. Good thing I got the quick release rifle cover so I can take it on and off if I need to. Anyway, it's just up over two of these lips here, so we're just gonna, we should be into them, so. Well, we got a new battery in, so here we go again. Once we get a little closer, we'll be a little more quiet. We don't know exactly where he's. There's never any guarantees. Right. I'd rather be safe than sorry, so I want to be ready to go should he decide to jump up. At this point, approaching the animal, I wasn't 100% sure that the shot was fatal. After reviewing the footage, I was like, man, that could be just a little bit low shoulder. If it is low shoulder, I've got to be ready to chamber another round. And I'm glad I did because it was just a little bit low shoulder. Buck, cool, mature buck, red it up. Be phenomenal, phenomenal buck for Peyton and I for the freezer. So, got the 
Governor Norman here. He's been with me all fall of 2020 season. Man, I feel so blessed. So awesome. So, that's my second mule deer I've been able to take in, let's see, in six days I've taken two mule deer, so two different states. And I love mule deer hunting. It's the coolest thing. It makes me feel American and given the state of the economy and the world and the nation and with the election, man, nothing makes me feel more American than this. So, anyway, let's go check him out. Heck yeah, I'll take that for a last day buck. Thank you animal, what a beautiful, beautiful animal. This one's for you, Grandpa Chug. On our way out with giant grins on our faces. <laughs> It's been a season for the books. Send it, baby. Man, couldn't be more pumped. Buck on top of the truck. Thanks for watching Last Chance. For this film, we're giving away the Tur Carbon Pro from Goat Knives. This is the same knife we used in the film. It was awesome for taking care of deer, elk, or whatever else you're pursuing. The Tur is an ultralight hunting knife weighing only 1.5 ounces that you can easily resharpen on the fly. The tour still functioned as a multi-tool with a one and a quarter inch drive in the handle, making it one of the most versatile knives in the industry. We're also giving away a $50 gift card to Goat Knives. This way you can get a goat sack or some other merch or put towards another knife for your next time. To enter, all you need to do is like this video, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed to the Muley Freak channel. Also, for an added bonus, let us know your favorite part about this film. We'll announce the winner on Instagram Snapchat, so be sure to follow us there. Catch you on the next one.